Spencey tonight, most definitely. He's a very determined man tonight, and that means a lot in boxing. I would say the mental game is probably 60, 70 percent of, of the game once you get up to the higher levels. Fitz Vanderpool being out jabbed temporarily by the man with the shorter arms. I think uh, Ronnie should keep doing that. Do Pasek, something that works. Pasek has the gold fringe around his trunks. He's uh, missing most of those shots by Vanderpool in the corner, maybe all of them. All he needs to do is come back. As he misses, he's got to make Fitz pay. Or else, uh, you know, it's great to miss and be defensive like that, but if you make your opponent pay after missing a punch, he'll will, will, have second thoughts about throwing them again. Pretty good right hand by Pasek to the body. The shot by Vanderpool was blocked on the inside. Yes, Pasek's doing well going to the body and the head. Again, pulling his way in and getting in two, three punches to the body, Pasek is. We're just about to the end of the fifth round. Vanderpool missed with a wild right hand. Pasek is pretty tricky himself, faking the jab and then coming, coming with the right hand. And that shot hurt Vanderpool. It hurt him or woke him up because he threw a real good combination right after. No punches really landing, but he did throw a combination. I do see a little bit of discouragement in, in, in Vanderpool's face. I, you know, I can't see in the future, but this may be the turning point of the fight. He missed again. He, he was coming after him with that left hook, and it yeah. didn't do any damage. Another shot taken off the arms of Ron Passick. Ron Pasek's doing a very good job of covering that liver now and, and his head. He's, he's doing a very de good defensive job at the moment. And it may pay off for him as the fight goes on. A good left hook. Uh, another good left hook by Pasek. That's his punch. Yes, it is. It. I see it slowing down a little bit, John. Oh, good f fifth round. And a pretty good fight. The public's enjoyed it. Referee Don Smart comes to the corner directly above us. And uh, it's an interesting one. There's. Uh, not a lot of uh, activity in either corner as we speak. Pasek not marked, uh, Pasek breathing deeply. Um, we see a, a repeat or a, uh, a reminder of just how well Pasek's defending himself inside because Vanderpool missed with a big uppercut from the right outside. But uh, Vanderpool not marked at all. No, he's not. He hasn't taken all that many headshots. I think uh, Ron's been a somewhat more effective to the body. Uh, right hand glances off of Vanderpool's uh, shoulder there. A lot of punches being thrown. That that punch stat statistic is used on one of the American wow. networks would be very interesting oh. in this fight. Oh, well, it would be. This is a very, they're, they're, they're punching every second of this, this fight. Vanderpool wants his distance now. Yes, he does. I think his game plan's changed a bit. He doesn't want to be in the inside. He knows that. Pa Pasek's probably, his strength is probably, uh, is probably showing on the inside. Nice right hand by Pasek. Oh, a left hook to the liver, but didn't guess he, he missed He the missed mark. it. Yeah, he <laughs> must have. <laughs> he tried for it again. He's really trying to go home run on that one. Uh, talking to Pasek earlier, he's telling me he's on a power lifting program with, uh, with a teacher at a, at a high school here in Edmonton, and, and he does look uh, somewhat stronger to me. Well, he said he can do it uh, without losing his quickness, and uh, yeah. 
Well, power power lifting's a bit different than just regular weightlifting. When you're doing power cleans, you're using your whole body with real fast movement. So, uh, me myself, I do I do uh, about two days a week of power lifting, and uh, it seems to help me as well. Because boxing being so aerobic, you tend to lose a lot of muscle. So by doing a couple days a week of weightlifting just maintains it. Nice right hand by Ron Castle. Now we have to see where he goes with that because that's his best right hand of the fight. And he's tried it again. Vanderpool is so relaxed. I don't know whether he's hurt or just backing away sometimes. He has a good style, Vanderpool. A lot of good fighters will be so relaxed because they uh, they want to expend as little energy as possible, and that's what Vanderpool's doing. But it's giving uh, Ronnie a, an opportunity to uh, land some punches. He's doing a very good job. Uh, Ron is faking his way in and being elusive like a cat. And he's he's doing that well. He's giving him a lot of motion with his shoulders. Yes, he is. Been slipping a lot of, of Vanderpool's punches, but like I said earlier, I think he'd be more effective if he'd throw his punches right as soon as he slips a punch, throw a punch back. By keeping low like that, Ronnie's creating a smaller target for Vanderpool, which is quite smart. Trying the right hand again and just missing. <laughs> nice left hook. Okay. Wobbled, left hook. wobbled, uh, wobbled that fits for sure. And enough probably to win a round for Pasek, I yeah. believe. I was watching that round quite closely, and I thought it was quite an even round, but by that left hook uh, earned Ronnie Pasek round number six. And in, in watching the rounds, I, I think this fight's a very close fight. Manny, this has been great fun for me. I sit here with an expert in the sport, a <laughs> great practitioner of the sport, and I learned some things. There is a little bit of a mark over Pasek's eye. Now, is that an old scar? Sure. I believe it is. Has it? I, I don't think it's opened up as... I don't yet. think so. No. But there's a big right hand by Pasek early in the round. And uh, then you see Vanderpool trying to move past. There's the best punch of the round. That left that hook right at the end. Definitely yeah. wobbled uh, Fitzroy Vanderpool. It's too bad it landed so late in the round for, for Ronnie. <laughs>